On Saturday, a demonstration was staged in Sydney to protest the Australian government's actions in the Northern Territory. On June 21, 2007, the former Liberal government under John Howard introduced the Northern Territory National Emergency Response, more commonly known as the Northern Territory Intervention. The current Labor government under Kevin Rudd has not only maintained the intervention, but has intensified its implementation on the ground. When I heard that our federal government had sent in the military and the police into our communities in the Northern Territory. I felt like someone had just declared war on me again. Not just upon me, but upon my people. What it brought up was those old memories and those old fears of massacres again. When in the past, they sent the police and the military into our communities in former times and slaughtered our people without mercy. Under the pretext of addressing claims of child sexual abuse and neglect in the Northern Territory, the intervention was introduced and has come under fire from both local and international human rights workers and agencies. The intervention has been implemented by troops of Australian Army soldiers as well as Federal Police units and has interfered with many aspects of people's lives, including quarantining a portion of welfare benefits to residents, which in effect means that 50% of people's money is completely controlled by the government. Since the intervention only targets Aboriginal people, the government has had to do away with the Racial Discrimination Act, which is meant to safeguard communities from racial vilification and discrimination. To think that you know, um, such an act could be suspended um, to continue um, the racist policies and to have those, you know, quite comfortably sit there, those white bureaucrats dictating how we should go about our lives. I mean. You know, I, I sort of always pose a question to them. How would they like to be told where they've got to shop, eat and live? While whole communities have been moved off their lands, the government says it plans on building better homes for them elsewhere. Residents fear that the Australian government is using the pretext of better housing and safer communities to move people off their lands to make way for mining companies to extract resources, particularly uranium. They say they will not move off their ancestral lands. Behab Sharida for Press TV, Sydney.